welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna try Lemongrass IPA from Big Lake Brewing. Uh, 16 ounces, 5.1% ABV. There is not a date on this can. I paid four dollars or three dollars and 49 cents for this. Uh, yeah, Big Lake, good brewery, like a lot of their beers. Been there, I think, twice, two or three times to eat. So let's go ahead and get this into a glass. Uh, lemongrass, this could be an interesting one. Uh, I don't know if they're using lemon drop hops, but that would be cool if they are. Um, earthy floral notes i i'm not saying i like the best so my score might be a little lower if you like those kind of flavors off-white colored head uh pretty much all small bubbles about a finger and a half of head um yeah lemonish yellow in color pretty hazy i i would say almost full haze uh but down in here i can kind of see the outline of the, the light box uh but yeah for what the beer is I would say that works. Definitely works. Uh, lots of floaties in there. Let's go ahead and smell. Yeah, definitely get that lemon grassy smell. Yeah, get it out of there too. Yeah, lemon grass, but it almost smells sweeter. Uh, if you had a candied lemongrass um, instead of a fresh, fresh piece of lemongrass. But yeah, it, it is what it says it is. Maybe a little bitterness from hops on the back end of that. But let's go ahead and try this. Those bubbles are flying up. Ooh. Yeah, it's lemongrass. Uh, it's like the lemon, it, it's bitter lemon. They're floral. There's something else in the back back end of this. Uh, what? It's almost like, what is that? Easy drinking, wow. That is, it's a lot of lemon. It's almost like very tart lemon. Like, I think I said this on one recently. <clears throat> if you peeled a lemon and you got a lot of the white part and you bit down on the lemon, that bitterness would be there. But there's some, some sweetness that kind of knocks that bitterness down. But... I almost want to, the, the taste in the back and the aftertaste almost makes me think that's what lemon oil would taste like. Like, very perfume lemony. It's almost like there's, there's something, like there's another spice or something in there. Like a clove lemon, some coriander lemon, something like that. Hmm. I think for me, I would have to go 3.5. Um, it's not something I would want to drink all the time. Like, I would probably... Uh, leave this to last to finish even if I did finish this uh, if this was my only beer would I finish it I believe so that's what I'm gonna say now um, like like maybe like a chai something something back there that I've had before, like a chai tea, something, 
I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to think. Like bare hands did that chai series. If that's where I got it, man, I don't know. Uh, yeah, three point five out of five. Let's go ahead and check on tap. See if they're saying anything. I could probably look at the side of this. Yeah, citrus light herbal. I guess it could be herbal. Notes from lemongrass. Uh. Let's see what Untapped is saying. None of my friends have had it. Uh, 185 people have checked it in. 3.62 out of 5. Smooth, floral, glassy, grassy, clean, citrusy. Let's see if any of the top commenters said anything. Or check-ins, I should say. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, if you're into beers like this, definitely one to pick up and try, but it's just not for me. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more beer reviews over here. And until next time, cheers.